Can you agree with me that water is a pretty powerful force? You need it to live and it can kill you. That's kind of why I did this experiment. Well, howdy do to YouTube. How's everybody out there in YouTube land doing? If you don't know who I am, my name is Bayou. I'm the owner, founder, and lead investigator of BA Paranormal and Research. I've been a paranormal investigator for half my life. So yes, I've spent a lot of time in dark, scary places. And again, just because it's not on YouTube doesn't mean it didn't happen. Anywho, today, I just wanted to talk to you guys. Um, I decided, I don't know, about a year ago, that I wanted to do an experiment after doing an investigation in a, um, I don't want to call it a sweat lot. It's more like a, um, well, I guess that is, it's a bathhouse, um, an ancient bathhouse, matter of fact, that has water going through the center of it, okay? In this place, we caught all kind of crazy stuff. N nevertheless, anyway, this is the reason why I wanted to do this experiment because I found, we found that anytime water is present near or anything in a haunted environment, it inflames everything. Okay. And well, I wanted to prove that I wanted to see if that was real or not. Um, so what we started doing was doing double investigations. We investigated a house for a realty company. We would investigate the house. Three days later, we would go back and shut the water off and drain all the water out of the lines and then redo the investigation. We've been doing this for a while now. Okay. Um, and if we happen to do an investigation at a place where we can't um, mess with the water, we just didn't do it there. Um, what did we find? Well, we all know water is important. Okay. You need it to live. It can kill you. Without it, the world would not be the world. Because we need water. We need water. We need oxygen. We need all these things to live. Okay. So I thought, well, if water is such a powerful force and if there's underground aquifers or rivers, creeks, streams, whatever near a haunted place, it inflames the haunt. Um, so I wanted to test all this. So we did investigations with no water and water. It was quite incredible, actually, what we found out. Um, some places, I'm going to be 100% honest with you, have no fucking effect, okay? If this house is haunted, you turn the water off, it doesn't make a damn difference whether or not or not, okay? It just doesn't. Um, oh, and I don't know what's going on in today's world, but we are investigating a lot of seemingly new houses. Okay, and that's, that's how we, we kind of got to do this experiment was because we had control over the water because these houses are fairly new. Um, in these newer houses, what we found was that when you turn the water off, it goes away. In an older house, not so much because I think it's imprinted in the older house. Um, example. Um, there is a little town or a little city called Hampton Cove here in North Alabama. It is a ritzy ditzy fancy ass neighborhood where the houses are about 300,000 to over a million dollars. This neighborhood is not old. Okay. This is new. It's under 20 years old, but we are getting calls left and right from realtors to come and investigate these places. And well, we found if the water is on, the place is kind of wild. As soon as we turn that water off and we drain the house of all water, it goes away. It is the freakiest thing ever. We tried this in older houses as well. It doesn't work. It doesn't matter if the water's on or off. Okay? That place is going to be haunted regardless. But these newer homes, it just doesn't... I don't... I don't understand it. So I did this experiment and it just like everything else in paranormal, I just have more questions, but I will tell you this. If your house, if you think your house is haunted and your house was built after 1995, 
turn the water off and see if you still got anything. I know it sounds crazy, but hell, I've been known to do crazy paranormal experiments. I just, it, it blew my mind though, because how does water in your house do that? Well, what we found out was, especially here in North Alabama, the water well, comes from the mountains and shit. It runs through limestone. If you leave some water in a cup and let it evaporate, they'll be white, like residue all over the cup because of all the calcium and all the crap that's in the water. Yeah. So that's what we think is happening, is that there's a buildup of rock or um, calcium and limestone within these houses. And when you turn the water on, it literally inflames all of that, activates it or whatever. I mean, I don't really, we don't really know. Like everything else in the paranormal, you ask a question, you get more questions, not answers. Okay. I just... I don't know. It was a weird thought. It was a weird thought one night. Man, you need water to live. You need it to live. It can kill you. Maybe that's the cause of some hauntings. They, they claim Bobby Mackey's is like that because there's a portal of hell underneath it with some kind of river thing. I don't fucking know. But I, what I don't get, though, is the older houses. Um, I guess because they're imprinted. Like, you know, like you got an imprint there. But a new house, if you think your house is haunted or you, how about this? You try this. If you're a paranormal investigator, turn the water off at the street to the house or the property before you investigate or better yet, don't investigate it. Go back the next day, turn the water off and see what happens. I'm telling you, it's crazy, but it, something's up with it. That's all I'm saying. And how come in new houses it works really well? I guess, well, because older houses, it's imprinted. But in a new house that's claiming to be haunted, maybe it's just the water. Yeah. Anywho, I'm done rambling. I just thought I would share that with y'all. Some of you are interested in some of the stuff we're doing. And some of you don't give a shit. You just want to know about the fakers. But anyway, you want to know the truth about the paranormal. Paranormal investigators, weird creatures, anything. If it's paranormal, I'm here to tell you the truth about it. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Bye. I'm sick of being normal. I'm sick of being average. I'm sick of being mortal. I'm about to be a savage. I see a lot of things that I want. I will have them. I got a new mindset.